all these concrete jungles, you see that green is disappearing. And actually studies show that more and more you move away from green, the, the psychological problems, health problems which are coming. In this case, the idea was to create urban green living. So basically it's an oasis in the middle of Kavinagar. You don't really see where the house is because this is the park and then the house is sitting really with views towards this. So the client brief was actually very simple. The client is an eye doctor. They have a clinic very close to where the villa is. There's doctor, his wife and his son who was very young when we started the project. His younger brother is there with his family and his parents are there. So essentially it's a family of eight people and this is what the house was built for. Actually the client had three uh, main uh, targets for his villa. One was a very green large uh, lawn, as, as big as possible, and then the views to the park and uh, to access the roof terrace. I mean to access the, the green terrace on the top and make this accessible and easily reachable and connected with the ground. So these were actually the main three goals from his side. So it's a corner plot, that's why it's cut in a very weird angle. So for us, these weird plots also give us some design opportunities. Now further, the design brief asks for one basement and G plus one. We believe in such plots, if you make more than one floor, it does not look like a villa, it starts looking like a housing project. So the evolution of this project started by the site, of course, because it's such an odd and interesting shape. And then we have this nice, beautiful, green, large trees, which we wanted to, of course, maintain. In order to get a large, green uh, outdoor area in front, we moved the building as much as possible to the, to the north and the east, to the maximum setback we have. We carved out this round uh, space so that we get enough uh, distance to the, to the large trees in order to keep it and to maintain it and it also survive during the construction. So in order to emerge the villa from the ground, the landscape extends onto the step planters and onto the terrace. And for this we get a nice comfortable uh, staircase to walk in. We get also another access from the first floor. And uh, this is mainly the the base uh, volume, how the design evolution came. So in the summer, in this diagram, we see that it's completely blue. Blue means no heat is going in. But also in the winters, we want the sunlight to come in. So the placement and the angles of the building were designed based on heat can analysis. So it was connected through an algorithm to see what is the optimum shape of the building. So we also looked at the shadows from the existing trees, how it is saving the or shading the building. And also some more trees were planted along the boundary of the site. In terms of materiality, we wanted something which is a bit raw. We did not want this component behavior, we wanted more monolithic facade, let's say very simple, clean, one built form which comes out. We don't have any hard material as say, per se on the project. It's all green, earth, so heat island effect does not happen, so our temperature of the site stays low. So you enter from the east, you look into uh, through the space, into the green, and then we have an open dry kitchen which all one open space and then we have the wet, wet kitchen in the back. So the um, kitchen is uh, black and we have just to add some warmth. We have a breakfast counter which is wood and which can turn so you can turn it. And this space also opens up into that uh, formal living which is a double height. In the living on the main uh, feature wall we have a triangulated um, concrete panels which are gradient going up and we have a very nice uh, spiraling rose gold uh, SS uh, chandelier which uh, spirals down like the movement goes up. So we did not really think we need another feature wall but this uh, temple needed a prominence in the space. So what we did was we played with this contouring so essentially these vertical black grooves which come from the door also is integrated. They come and they start unfolding as a feature wall where the gods are very nicely placed. So it becomes a prominent area in the design, but not overpowering anything else. Then going further inside, the parents' room opens up to the courtyard and this existing tree and we get morning sun. The idea was really to highlight the nature. So micro-topping flooring is the constant in the entire house. Now once you enter here, we had this curved glass in the back. So when you're doing these kind of projects, the idea is to always facet the glass. So it's all plain glass, which gives you the curvature. So then at the end here, you reach the master bedroom zone. So you enter over the dresser and then you reach the master bedroom. 
which uh, mainly, I mean, it's located here because it looks outside and it has here its own private outdoor balcony in the back here. Then over the walk-in closet, you reach the bathroom. So the bathroom is a very large, uh, nice space, also opening up to the outside to get natural light. So as a contrast to the entire house, because the entire house is this really white themed and light colors. So for the bathroom, we thought we'd play with a little bit of contrast. So we used Kadappa stone. And also the one issue which comes with uh, stone in joining is that the gaps are not very well done. So we thought, why not use it as a design element? So we played with this in-out element. So the craftsmanship, even if not done very well, it can become a part of the design. And a little bit of wood was added to it to give it a little bit of warmth in the space. So the first floor is accessed uh, via this open staircase, which is cantilevered from the wall. So the steps are cantilevered from the wall and has a glass balustrade. And then this glass balustrade continues around the void. Then we have a library in this, in this corner. So we are using the space, the, the building which uh, goes down. We are using the space here for storage in terms of library and the lounge. So this terrace is used quite frequently. And what is very nice, the client actually uses the steppers and use for his morning tea. So he sits on these steps and enjoys his morning tea here on these step planters here. So then here at the end of the corridor we are, is the master bedroom. The same layout as in the ground floor. We reach the master bedroom over the dresser. So you reach this room and it's uh, so uh, open and bright to the north, to the west and here to the to the lawn, it's all uh, this glazing. When you're walking towards the house, you don't see any room from the outside. It's all hidden in a way. So we had to play with the angles of the fence to make sure that no one looks into a bedroom from outside. But once you're in, you see the garden. So in the basement, um, the day-to-day -day access to come from the garden, you can take this outdoor staircase downstairs, which brings in light also in parts and also we have green, green uh, plantation here. So the gym is here looking into this green space and uh, getting natural light from here. Then we have a bar, like a bar counter and a lounge. And in the home theater, the idea was not to put recliners, but to have more of an informal lounge furniture. So it's really the experience. The terrace space is a very green, uh, it's mainly green. We have just one lounge area with big uh, plantation behind it, so it's also getting some shading. We have the water feature on that uh, wall, and uh, otherwise it's very green and open. It has all the views. I'm very satisfied with this project because on one hand we have a happy client, and on the other hand, I think we really uh, managed to maintain all this existing plantation, especially this existing large trees. And on the same time, we, um, I think we really managed to blend inside and outside and to make um, residents feel closer to nature again, which we really want, which was our target and which I think we managed to achieve. So this entire villa was a very organic development, not just in terms of the form, but also how it went through the various processes and iterations during construction. So when we visited the house after completion for the first time on the ground floor, it got beautiful light inside. So it was very nice to see the experience of the house. And given that the project was a bit complex in terms of the form, materiality, how we wanted to execute it. So we were very pleased to see that the finishing was done properly. And actually we were a big part of trying to do site visits and seeing how the finishing is done. We also tried to mix and match the materials to get this concrete finishing done properly. So for us, I think it was a very good experience in terms of how the entire project came out. And also, it was a bigger pleasure to see the people living in the house really enjoying the place which they have.